Having started your career at uh, Den Haag and uh, then you moved to Feyenoord, can you tell us a bit more about the Dutch league? From now, uh, from in general, how different is it to the Premier League and no, other it's leagues? It's big difference, of course. Uh, much more quality in the Premier League. It's normal. There's much more money, so uh, all the pace is much, much quicker. It's uh, intensity, so you can't. Uh, compare this to those two leagues. What made you choose Newcastle coming from? No, I wanted to uh, play in the Premier League, and Newcastle was a good, uh, good option for me that time. And uh, I came from the World Cup. I wanted to uh, make a step, and then Newcastle came, and was a good choice. Do you see yourself playing for another top European club in a European league elsewhere? You have another football. I don't know. I'm 28 now. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. It's not about me, it's about them. Would you say you would retire back home in Feyenoord one day or you see yourself uh, maybe doing the same as Schneider, going to the Far East or maybe China? Or? No, I'd like to go back to Holland and I prefer Feyenoord because that's the club uh, I supported when I was home and I always uh, follow, follow the club. I good feeling with the club. So if I can uh, uh, go back home one day, uh, it would be uh, good nice. Who was your childhood idol in football growing up? Um, I think Johan Cruyff in Holland is the biggest, uh, biggest player ever. So, uh, I think he's the idol of uh, almost any uh, anybody in the world. Was it your decision to leave Newcastle and join Watford, or was it what? Your decision to yeah, leave? Yeah, of course. I, I, ch I choose my uh, my career and my, uh, my future. So, uh, my decision to join it. In the last um, three years, Holland has been in a way in a decline since you reaching uh, the third place of the World Cup 2014. What do you think is the main issue with the national team? <clears throat> no, it's obvious that we have a small dip now. Um, we didn't reach the World Cup now, and so we didn't uh, the Euros. Um, Last year, uh, but now um, I think we have uh, some great talents coming up, and uh, yeah, I don't uh, think we have uh, to worry about the Dutch football in the future. Do you think the four managers which were changed has something to do with the team, or is it down to the players? To no, it's always down to the players because the players have to show it on the pitch. But it was not like an, um, yeah, there was a lot of changing, uh, a lot of. Um, uh, yeah, it was not like easy, and uh, hopefully now with Kuman, the new uh, the new coach, it, uh, we can uh, we can do uh, a lot more. Will Holland benefit or lose more having not having played at the World Cup in Russia at the moment? Sorry again. Will Holland lose or benefit from not playing no, in, we lose in Russia? No, we want to be there. And, uh, yeah, that's the biggest one biggest podium or stage in the world, uh, the World Cup is it's the biggest, you can show yourself, you, can, you improve, you learn from the experience there, so it's a really shame that we're not there. Do you see any youngsters from the under-21s right now in your position, potentially taking your position in the, let's say, in the next 5-10 years? Any big names that you can No, uh, you have say. a few good, good ones, I think Pepe is good from Lyon, uh, Foku Mensa is playing for Pelis. Karstor for us Rome, so uh, I think we have uh, a few good right backs. Well, what kind of a manager is Luis Van Gaal? I think he's uh, one of the best I ever had. So uh, really strict, really uh, clear. Um, yeah, he's uh, an unbelievable uh, coach. And my last question is: Do you see yourself playing in the next World Cup in Qatar, 2022? Oh, that's far. That's. Uh, I hope so, that's the only thing I can say. I have to keep myself fit and to keep myself on a good level and then 